Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. I'm going home in 28. I will not really go home. No. I was born in England and this week we are looking at the most famous landmark in London. Hmm, London's a very big and very, very ancient city. All the way through the history of London, there have been big, important, amazing places. But what about today? What are we looking at? What is it? London has many historic things, but which one do you think of first? Hmm, if someone says to you, London, what picture comes into your head? The big clock, yes. Oh, much, much, much bigger than that. Yes, the big tall clock. What's that called? I don't think it's called the big tall clock. Yes, what is it called? Um, the name that everyone uses is Big Ben. There we are. You see the tall clock and you say that's Big Ben. But you can't see Big Ben. What? Well, I can. It's right there. What? Now, even I'm confused by that. Of course you can see Big Ben. It's really, really, really big and tall. And I can see a picture of it now. Okay, we will explain later. Hmm, can you see Big Ben? Oh, I'm very confused. Now we do have some great adjectives again. We have used six types so far. Hmm, but there are more. Oh yes, altogether there are ten different types of adjective. Yeah, oh dear, don't be confused about that. Well, so far they have included opinion, shape and colour. Opinion, beautiful shape. Last week we used the word domed and Colour. Pale pink. Hmm. I really enjoyed last week. I think it was my favourite week. And we have some more. So, six so far. And we only have two more this week. Well, that's good. Great. So, we've already had six, and two more, well that makes eight, I think. They are both quite easy to use. Where and what? Hmm, oh, okay. Well, hmm, are they adjectives? Oh, they look like questions. I think we need a bit more explanation. Hmm. I think we need a lot of explanation. We can't see Big Ben. And now where and what are adjectives and not questions? Oh, I'm, I'm getting a headache already. And I really shouldn't because this is about where I come from. I should know all about it. Oh dear. Where and what? Hmm. Where is the place the things come from? 
we could say British, French, American. Do you have any British teachers? Do you have any American teachers? Have you ever tried French cheese? Mm, okay, right. That's clear now. Okay. Now, that's the flag of the United Kingdom. We could say it's the British flag. So I think we'll see that again this week. The flag of the United Kingdom. The British flag. What is the material that is used? Wood, glass, plastic. Okay. Now, sometimes we use slightly different words. We could say that the uh, the chair is wooden, and the bottle is glass. So sometimes we just use the the material, glass. Sometimes a little bit different, wooden. Ah, there we are. Wooden. Let's get back to Big Ben. Where can we see it? Okay. It is right next to the River Thames and is part of the Palace of Westminster. The River Thames is the very important river that goes right through the middle of London. The Palace of Westminster is the very important building in London where all the important government people work. And Big Ben is right next to it. It's joined to it. Ah, Big Ben is even smaller. What? The tower that we all know is actually called Elizabeth Tower. So the big tall tower. That's Elizabeth Tower. It's not Big Ben. The symbol of Britain has four glass clock faces and contains five massive iron bells. So what is Big Ben? Now we know that the tall tower that we see, that's Elizabeth Tower, not Big Ben. Big Ben is just one bell inside the tower. It is the biggest bell, but that is the only thing that is really called Big Ben. Okay, so everyone looks at the tall tower and says, that's Big Ben. But actually, Big Ben is a big bell. So why is it there? It has been the place of power in Britain for over 1,000 years. This huge new stone building is only about 150 years old. Okay, so the site of the Palace of Westminster has been very important for a very long time. But what we see today is not really that old. Yeah, 150 years. That is almost new. 
The previous palace was destroyed by fire in 1834. 1834, that's less than 200 years ago. At that time, well, they didn't really have amazing firefighters like we do today. So a big fire must have been a terrible, terrible thing. It took so long to remove the pile of grey ash rubbish that building did not start again until 1840. Wow, that's six years just to get the land ready to start building again. Wow, that's a long time. The clock tower took longer. The clock tower that is so famous was not completed until 1859. Wow! That is a very long time after the fire. It was never the biggest tower. The Dutch Cathedral in Antwerp and the Italian Cathedral of Cremona are both taller and older. So our tower here that we call Big Ben, well it was never the best or biggest. But do you know the Cathedral in Antwerp or the Cathedral of Cremona? Hmm, I think you don't. So, the one in London, Big Ben, did become the most famous. Dutch, Italian. Maybe you can find out where those adjectives are describing later. The real Big Ben. The biggest bell in the tower is actually called the Great Bell. But everyone calls it Big Ben. Hmm, it's a good name. The Great Bell. Well, that sounds good. Makes it sound big. But Big Ben. I like that more. Why? Well, nobody knows. That's strange, isn't it? This super famous Big Ben. No one knows why it's called Big Ben. No idea, really? Well, maybe. It may have been named after the Welsh project manager, who was Benjamin Hall. He took care of all the building work. Welsh means he came from Wales. Where's that? Something else you need to go and look at afterwards. It may also have been named after an English boxing champion called Ben Kant. Hmm, both of these people were really famous at the time. But no one really knows why Big Ben is Big Ben. So tell us about the bell. The original cast iron bell was made in 1856 and was 16 tons. That is huge. Cast iron. That is a very, very strong material. Disaster! The first time the hammer hit the bell, it cracked. 
Oh dear. The hammer is the thing that has to hit the bell to make the noise. Now, it's no good if you can't hit the bell. That would just make it a really big lump of iron, not a bell. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It was too big. A slightly smaller bell was cast in 1858. When we say it was cast, that's the word we use when we make something out of iron. When the towel was ready, the bell was lifted 61 metres. This work took more than a day to complete. Slowly, 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 rising up 61 metres. That's a long way. Let's not forget how long ago it was. The bell chimes. That means ding dong. The emotional deep chime of the bell was first heard in 1859. Can you imagine being there on that day? Wow! That must have been very historic. Four smaller bells were soon added to play the melody every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, if you are in the middle of London, you will hear bong, 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 bong. That's the melody. Everyone in England knows that strange little tune. What about the tower? The tower is made of soft beige Yorkshire stone and solid white Cornish granite. Okay. Yorkshire, Cornish. These are adjectives that describe two places in England. One's far to the north and one is far to the south. It must have taken quite a long time to get the material up to London. This stone and granite tower rises 96 metres into the grey British sky. What about the clock face? We've now got three very important parts, haven't we, to what we call Big Ben. We've got Big Ben, the big bell, Elizabeth Tower, the tall tower, and now we've got four clock faces as well. The clock faces are 55 metres up the tower. Each iron frame holds 312 pieces of opalescent glass. That's a great word. It means you can nearly see through them, but you can't. They're sort of white, but not really white. It's like a colour, but not really. Wow, that's a bit strange, isn't it? A great word, opalescent. So what time is it? Um, hold on, I'm not sure. Let's look at the clock. The time shown is always incredibly accurate. It's never wrong. It is controlled by a pendulum. 
the speed of the pendulum is controlled by small brass pennies. A pendulum goes left and right and left and right. And if you add a little bit of weight, you change the speed. Now, you have to be very, very careful. How much brass do you add to the pendulum? That's why it's always super accurate. What is the tower called? For 150 years, it was just called the clock tower. Then, in 2012, it was renamed the Elizabeth Tower. That's good. Clock tower, that's quite boring. Very few people are allowed to go up the tower. Most really tall buildings in the world, you can go up, have a look at the view, but not the Elizabeth Tower. Who can go up? You have to be a British citizen and be invited by an MP. That's someone very important in the British government. There are 300 polished white stone steps to climb. Wow, that's quite hard work as well. I want to see it. Well, if you do get the chance, you really should. I used to live in London, so I've seen it many times. And I still like seeing it. The best way to see Big Ben is to get on the London Eye. Sitting in one of the oval glass capsules is a real thrill. The London Eye goes round in a very, very big circle, very slowly. And you can see so much of famous historic London. We had quite a few adjectives today, I think. Some more to add to our collection. We used origin, Welsh, Cornish, British. That's the flag of Wales. That's the Welsh flag. And material. We had cast iron, stone, wooden. Great adjectives. Where next? We have just one more amazing place next week. Well, we have now looked at the Statue of Liberty in America, the Taj Mahal in India, and Big Ben in London. One more. We are sure you will recognise it, but how much do you know about it? Well, I guess we need to know where it is first, don't we? Well, that's for next time. Try and think of amazing places around the world. And I hope we see you soon. Let's go and say hi and bye to our final two friends. Here they are. They want to say thank you. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.